I spend one hour per day to learn C++ using ChatGPT. That is the title of this video. First of all, that is false advertising because I only use the weekdays so that I can edit these videos during the weekends. Anyways, welcome to Hour of Code where I literally spend almost an hour coding per day with the goal of creating a game in Unreal Engine, hopefully. So here are the rules. I am only allowed to spend an hour per day and I cannot have extra time as I miss a day. I can do research before the session, but I am not allowed to add more progress to any part of the project. I am allowed to use anything that I can find as long as the code is mostly original. I can add or remove new things as long as they don't interfere with the first three rules. So with that out of the way, here is my first week. The first day was unplanned. Same goes to the rest of the week, to be honest. Everything was messy even though I planned up most of the stuff during school's free time. But anywho, I set up a new GitHub repository before the hour, managed to get at least one screen recording software to work with my Mac, which is quick time. By the way, I'm shocked how well Apple sometimes does their software. It is amazing. Moving on, I also learned the basic syntax of C++. Turns out, C++ and C Sharp and C has a similar syntax to Java, so the learning process went smoothly. Well, till I hit my first issue, which was missing IO stream, which I shortly fixed, only to be greeted by another issue, and my time just ran out. So on the second day, I did some research. Turns out VS Code has a bug or quirk for C++ where you have to use an external console to run or debug the file. So I made some changes to the launch.json file and ran the previous code. Unsurprisingly, it worked. Then I sent it to ChatGPT to mark my code. Then asked for another task, finish it, let ChatGPT to mark my code again, read the suggestion it made, and consider the day was done. On the third day, this was where everything started to look more interesting. At first, I started the day by asking ChatGPT to give me another task, a difficult one, which became my first enemy, the calculator task. The task itself wasn't that hard. I wrote the code quickly, ran it, and failed. But I wasn't surprised by it at all. Considering the way how I learned C++, it was the matter of time before some of its unique features come messing with me. So I tried fixing it, and I've also sent the code to ChatGPT, in which it said that I had a logical error. But I was too tired, so I decided to stop for the day. Moving on to day 4, and honestly, I have nothing put down in my notes. But in short, on day 4, I tried fixing the bug. It still didn't work but I can sense I'm slowly getting to finish it. So on day five, I managed to get it to work. Then I did some final adjustment so that it looked nicer in the output and sent it off to ChatGPT. So after this, I started to fix an issue where the terminal would just keep the previous window that had the previous debug or run session, but I failed to fix it and I gave up. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so that's the overall summary of this week. Honestly, this was one of the more interesting projects that I have ever done because it challenged my time management skills and it was a new concept for me to work with. So let me know in the comment section below on what can I improve and I hope you have a great and fantastic day. And I will see you next week.